base. Boom. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Lord Helmet. There's Lord Helmet, wasn't it? It's named Dark Helmet, but sometimes they refer to it as Lord Helmet. <laughs> Not good, eh? <laughs> The year is 1987, we've had our feed of all three Star Wars, and then Mel Brooks went, let's do a parody, and here it was, Spaceballs the Movie. It's my appreciation of of the human event. Yes, Spaceballs the movie, an absolute classic of mine. Um, introduced me to my uh, grandpa, who um, was a king of comedy in my eyes. Mm. Yes, he actually had it VHS again. And I absolutely love this film from beginning to middle to end because it, I I personally just like the gags in there and the, um, the way they're like, the, the, the premise is, is Princess Vespa escapes her wedding because she has to get married and there's only one prince left and she's not really keen at her name um, so her father's like you must marry him and she decides to hop it away and um, while she's obviously escaping Lord Helmer or Dark Helmer then it is after her because they want the combination code to get the fresh air uh, from Planet Juilia So that's the, the premises and obviously uh, a young handsome chap of Lone Star and his faithful companion played by the late great John Candy, Boff. I've nearly forgotten and of course on then it's a classic bit because Boff and it comes in. He's half man, half dog. He's his own best friend. Ding ding. They go into that concept and that is a synopsis but you must watch this film if you haven't. And if you have to think, oh I'm not a fan of Star Wars, don't worry. That's the gags in there, and if you do right there, and of course, Lord Helmet is played by the great Rick Ramirez, of course, uh, from Ghostbusters, Honey Ash from the Kids, um, Little Shop of Horrors, and. Bye, Blue Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> How are we not making faces at the end of President Screw! Yes! How are we not making faces? We had to bring out character, you know, we had to find the dog qualities. Obviously, we had the ears, um, but it was, it was the hair we were very concerned about. The ears ride so high, the dog's ears are up here. So mine are blocked off down here. I give myself big sideburns here on the side and a DA in the back for the ponytail. So I try to be a very cool dog with the sole patch. Some phenomenal, like, parts in it that are just beyond their time. Uh, Mel Brooks, absolute genius of that time as well for his film. Last but not least, Space Balls the Doll. Me. May the Schwartz be with you. There are some classic bits like uh, there's a there's a scene where it's a parody of Alien, and I never got that when I was younger. So because I'm seeing Alien, I shit myself up on there. So I was like, oh, I like this bit. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. I'm like, what's this Alien? But there, but it is actually the um, original actor as well who's in there, and it's just like, wow. So when you watch Alien and then you see that, you're like, oh my god. Oh no, not again. And tell me I'm your own. Check, please. But there is a, a brilliant bit, obviously. Um, we've got a cameo from uh, the great man from uh, Police Academy. Um, he just comes in and just steals that scene as well, where he's um, in part talking about the beats. Boop, boop, the creep. Well, you don't need that private. We're right here. Now, what is it? Now, what is it? Well, and uh, Lord Helmut could not be taking over the galaxy without his uh, help as well from Colonel Sanders. What's the matter, Sanders? Chicken? And as well, and it's even got Planet of the Apes, which I'm a huge fan of Planet of the Apes as well. Um, so there's just that little bits of aspects there. Spaceballs? Oh, shit. A couple of one-liners like, she, great, she, does, uh, she gives great helmet. 
the, the same combination code to someone's luggage. I won't give away the code because it takes away all the fun, but it is just like, oh my god. And uh, use the Schwartz and yoga. And uh, I'd have given too much away there, so you're looking at this now, but then we just went back. When? How can we finish this? Just now. Let's finish it now. How? Just like that. Goodbye. When will then be now? Soon. How soon? Sir! What? We've identified their location. Where? It's the moon of Vega. Good work. Set a course and prepare for our arrival. When? 1900 hours, By sir. By high noon tomorrow, they will be our prisoners. Oh! <laughs>